Wait. <laughs> a little hard telling the wife I'm going to be another woman's escort for the evening and then. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Forum Lansing. I guess part one, right? This has been suggested by some people, requested by some people. That I should do some, they called it freelancer drama episode, whatever, I don't know. But I, I thought, you know, I, I'll just do forum lancing, which might be interesting to uh, introduce you to our little awesome community, you know? It's just, uh, you, you guys can see how People are here, just, just don't go to this section, you know. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, hold on. L let me actually see some. This this section was actually one of those sections I've been wasting so many, like so much time on um, back in three years ago. Like, holy shit. So many memes. So many memes. And I'll check. Let me check actually what the la latest memes are. Discovery. Wait, wait, Charo, I, 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 have to, I need to see the context. This okay. This is the greatest thing that has ever been posted in this thread. Never mind. Skip that. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one was really good. This one was really good. Man, you look tired. Maybe time to lock off. Don't worry. I'm heading off soon. Probably three days later. That's it, mine was. <laughs> This is so relatable, because, <laughs> like it or not, many vets or whatever, even probably new players, uh, have been in this position. Because, uh, <laughs> you're like, you're having this one trader, right? You're like, you know, okay, all right, one, uh, I, I can log mine and then log off, right? Be that, and then, then you log and... As soon as you're finished with one trader, suddenly two other traders pop up. They're like, hey, can you please mine, etc. Can you fill me up, etc. Okay, all right, that's going to be the last one. And <laughs> another trader comes on. Hey, can you mine for me? Can you mine for me? And you're just in this endless loop. And fuck, dude, I want to log off. Just let me go, right? Let me go. New thread. We need to stop writing about our problems all the time. Shit. <laughs> I didn't get this one though. I didn't understand this one. Come here, little fishy. What are you doing? Cruise disrupt this. You fucking casual. Long. I guess it's it's about the um, event that happened, which was like really laggy. I guess that's what it that's what it is about. And people have been just you know uh, drifting off because you know when you lag in freelancer you start to drift off. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, I'm not understanding. Hold on. So, Britonia, Kusari, Gallia, all pointing weapons. I'm sorry if I didn't understand that context. That's just. That's weird. Okay. It's more like this. <laughs> no, me. <laughs> Oh, okay, maybe that's okay. That is freelancer related, I guess. Okay, holy shit, you're a bunch of fucking. <clears throat> yeah, this whole place is 16 year old game, and you play here in this shit. I just bet. Also, that's Lobby, because it's one of those Russians that use Google Translators just to uh, speak to you. This is so disgusting, it's beautiful. I, I didn't ask to be attacked like this. Relatable, it hurts how true that is. Why not? Where's TBHK? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Okay. So much for Discovery Me. There are more, but I, I just want the uh, up-to-date ones. Or, uh, you know, context thread. That's also a place where we spend a lot of time, especially in Sky. We were just... Just freaking copy-pasting everyone's message into here. Like, how deep do you want us to go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, wait. Death and Eric was put out of action by Tassir, mine. This is second, but we blow each other. Dope and then, Dope and then once we fucked up. What? I wish they would show the uh, whole context, right? In which 
uh, discussion this was taken. I know the context thread is mostly not just this one sentence and you. I wish I would know more here what L Luca said. Like, well, it's a stressor. But uh, don't abuse my whole. <laughs> Little snake is inside. <laughs> I remember this one. Because I posted it. Wait. <laughs> Why? Wait, I will be taking a short trip to the Omicron for some sorry. I appreciate an all rescue if you're a real bullshit. I just want to point you guys to the last sentence of this. Which is like, uh, been a while, I know your friends are like a little more in the way of, you know, details. A little hard telling the wife I'm going to be another woman's escort for the evening and then <laughs> somewhere to do something. <laughs> ah, 10 out of 10 roleplay. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm calling this. She claimed to have something new. <laughs> oh yeah, that was... Oh yeah. <laughs> that was... We, we had a talk about uh, blacklists of the order. You know, which um, characters are blacklists as infectees or like really having relationships with Nomad. And that was when he... I, I think... I, I don't remember which char character it was, but that's what he wrote. Obviously not meaning, like, not meaning it like that. She claimed to have something nomad inside her. Rel religious press is what I got. What? What? All right, I think for for today we are um done with um the flood section. Let's uh, check out the uh, other discussions. Now the thing is, uh, there are discussions and like, a lot of drama and discovery, right? I mean, this is, this is nothing new, nothing new. But uh, I'm just wondering if I can find those specific topics, like, especially if there are, like, talks about uh, the Gallic war outcome or whatever, and, like, if something has been nerfed or whatever, and there's this huge outcry. I, I hope I can find something, but, um, let's see. Coalition ships. What's the deal with, uh, changing the look of the Coalition Snapper? They have that ugly bounty on us. Look them now. Uh, instead of having the this didn't look of the major group that was the reason humanity came to series. Well, I I agree. Um, there could have been a better version of the uh, intro snaps, and I think I I among many others requested that that we change their looks and like add some things. Especially I think I don't know if it was Lawi or uh, Coden which said. That um, by changing the uh, cockpit's light, etc., uh, turning it into red or something, it looks actually really good. But that's all with texture and st stuff that needs to change, having those glowing textures in the cockpit or whatever. But um, I do agree that they need a change. Skimmed our offsprings with tire and top of the shoe polish that was discussed. Well, I don't think he was talking about the skimmers, my friend. I, th I just think. The look of the current snobs. I mean, the wing, wings down are okay, okay, but like, I just think what the way they look. Like as example, they here they look um, badass on this picture, as you can see. Current design of coalition snobs is the original design from the coalition was interested as an NPC faction back and forth. Two. The return to the current design was a push from the majority of coalition player base. The current design bears visible similarities to coalition snobs design. Friends, interesting. Close the cannon, so to speak. that's true. That's exactly true. That's the reason we actually requested it back, because closer to cannon, so to say. Um, since also since it, since discovery was literally the uh, only uh, mod that allowed you to play the intro ships, right? They were like, holy shit, man! You. There was no other mod, or maybe there were mods, but like they had a shitty design, or whatever. And uh, that was actually cool when you first saw that. You're like, oh shit, th those intro ships. I always wanted to fly those. They look really cool, right? The old coalition ship design was quite literally the most boring ship in the game. At least the current one has some personality. Definitely pillow. That's what I agree on. I like current design. The wings could get a bit of a size reduction. I think they're a bit too large. Give me back new old revolution insertion special. The old models were balanced for an era when PvP showed us that flying refrigerators hitbox against similar slimier ships was suicide. It's funny though, 
some also what the fuck Shagohod are you still around man what the fuck man I thought you were banned with me what the hell okay uh the thing is now you go back to the catching everything with your super big hitbox sure the old dagger time carries well check out I think you didn't realize but they changed the uh, hitbox drastically on the thing saying that the insertion is bad is like exactly the uh, current coalition snub lines are actually fixed if not OP as some people call it so um back in the day yes they were they their hitbox sucked in 4.85 but now they are actually really good it's just that their design are a little bit weird the old ones were balanced in an era when balance was done by Mjolnir and nobody knew how to make a correctly function hitbox I wish people spent less time dwelling on stuff like this and more time just trying to play the game. It would be a completely different place if there were, if that were the case. There were very obvious quality problems with the all black shit beyond the near criminal offense of being matte black. They weren't original and were extremely low quality. And in a mod that constantly tries to improve quality standards of game, does it though? I mean, I never saw proper advancements in all the ships even vanilla ships i mean but uh, okay stands of game as it would seem kind of asinine to keep using models that are objective worse in every regard i'm not even seeing any genuine complaints here it's almost as if someone person doesn't like how they oh, okay i see that's probably like the uh, previous dagger make hessian ships great again it's funny though the hessian ships look decent they're awesome but Kinda of do agree, they had more personality to them when they were kinda of weirdish. Weird red, brown, green, something like that. The uh, old models. Kinda of like those. Yeah, Shagohod. Also, Shagohod. My, my man, how did you come back? Why are you not banned? <laughs> I'm joking, dude, I love you. Even though you got me into that mess. But it's okay, it's okay. I mean, you, sure, you can blame me. You didn't have to take it. Okay, I, I see. I take that. Okay, let's see. Next, the, the nomination of credits. The answer inflicts relatively low limit of credits you can hold at a time. I think this is more with. Uh, never mind. Merge transports the nanobots into hull. Oh, so kind of like the uh, how the captain ships happen. Quite like this idea. Wait, actually, let me see. Yeah, it's the same as battle crews and battleships. Let's go a step further in this hypo hypothetical train of ideas. Merge armor upgrades aid into hull. That would suddenly make pure five carriers who like the five thousand number too hard to pirate with no drawback. Hmm. The problem is with armor, in my opinion, it's just when you merge it, then why having armors at all? Also, wasn't like the shield. Wait a second. Oh no, you, can, you can't you can use nanobots anymore. That's also weird, you know? Because that was a shit that Crossfire mod pulled that I really didn't like. I was like, why can't we use nanobots? What's going on? Like, um, And now free, uh, Discovery went the same way. It's like, for me, it's like weird. I understand that now you can't do the insta-kill, but like, that was the thing. Like, if the, if the player forgot to uh, regen and you got his ass, right at the exact timing you could turn uh, battles you know what i mean and now it's just fucking save a safe haven a bubble where people just feel safe that they can't get insta killed and shit i'm just saying also back to the uh, armor thing if armors actually change the ship model if the ship would change significantly or if 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 the ship would become slower a lot slower then i would understand the armor upgrades the thing is just you put armor upgrade and it's just like you know you have this you have more hole that's it but you don't feel the difference as long as like as long as you don't um, scan your cargo hole right with uh, where you see you have a capital armor upgrade aid whatever i just wish um the uh you would also feel that on the ship so that was a nice thing crossfire did by the way that if you used armor, you significantly felt the uh, heaviness of on your ship. You're like shit, man. The, the turning of a capital ship felt like really weird, or like or like snubs were like really slow. And um, when you didn't use armor, you were really fast. So it's like you had this 
two different play styles or three because there was also this um making a ship lighter feature something like that i forgot what was what it was called but anyhow so you you were like when when you were let's say scared about getting insta kill and those you would go for armor if you were a good pilot you could actually pull it off but um if, if you if you're a bad pilot against uh, another pilot that doesn't have armor and he keeps out turning you obviously you would lose but the thing is you had this uh benefit of the, you know survivability that was the thing the ship was more survival um the survivability increased of the ship while it got a lot slower so i wish they would have implemented that to a capital ship as well capital ships as well because you literally a capital armor upgrade 8 especially where you have like this four times bigger hole like let's say you have one million hole you have four million now thanks to capital armor upgrade. you think this is like a f this should kind of have a disadvantage right so this whole consequence system whatever um so your ship should be a lot slower but you have three more million to hold you know so sacrificing one thing for another would make the things more interesting and i think the uh you could give players a different role etc playing like if people are good and dodging you just go like go with uh, light armor and um you dodge the shots and like stay uh, at a long range whatever and then you have tanks that go with capital armor upgrade 8 you go into the battle right you take all the hits and uh uh inflict as much damage as you can to the enemy team enemy capital ship whatever but that's not an aspect in discovery sadly i wish it was thinking of that i kind of went fully off topic it was about transports whatever you get my point okay community survey i really like other stuff these stories are awesome chemical warfare homicide attempted genocide right. hello everyone i'm here to present an idea and get a feedback thoughts on it and its impact to the game the community should this spark any interest with any one they can find me at discord the contact is available on my profile this is shiper whatever i don't know shipper background information i'm currently pulling together a few ideas in the attempt to form a group around the uh, production of chemical warfare agents or bio biological and biochemical viruses and toxins it's a group based in the podcast a second i'm interested in hearing people's thoughts on the idea and address the scenarios is this something people would like to see and participate or or groups and factions or you know, having this impact on regions okay that's your weird okay that's a bit weird because I, I was expecting oh is this something okay he's actually asking the question because i was i wanted to see it i want to see a discussion yeah. there's a discussion if like homicide whatever genocide and all would actually be a thing okay i personally don't have a problem with it so long careful we don't want another slavers union drama or something that is within the scope of rules but ended up nuking a whole ID. That's actually true. The slaver ID got removed from the game because people were like outraging about this whole slaver roleplay, right? Well, you can kill civilians by any poison because there are civilians in real life. But it's for some reason don't have any dance. I didn't understand that. Okay, I think I should give a better in depth exclusive to what to why I'm okay with this. I'll cross related really specifically it serves as a massive story. It comes to the study of Kurnia, which has a whole biosphere toxic to humans. I guess if if it makes sense for one faction and go for it, but like don't try this as a zoner or something, you know what I mean? Like don't be this guy. Oh I'm you know zoners building nuclear weapons and shit you know just say okay well that was so far for um just a small uh getting into the uh, forum lancing episode so to say uh if you guys would suggest me like um 
what part of the forums would be more interesting for people to watch and uh, I know this sounds a little bit like drama hunting and I'm not saying that well we can check other stuff and talk about that you know I'm just saying but there's a lot to pack here and there's a lot of stuff so I'm um, as a as a start I just wanted to give you a little bit of an impression how it looks like in our communities forum uh, if you want to check it out discovery GC join the community join the game if you have it freelancer discovery I'll see you guys on the next forum right?